So now I've got my linked list from the previous example. All right, and that's how the linked list looked. So this is a continuation of the main from the previous one. And, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to traverse this list. We did it uh, in a brute force fashion. Now I'm going to do it a little bit more elegantly using a loop. This, uh, this code fragment will work for any linked list, assuming it's properly constructed. And then we'll see the output down here. What I'm going to do is I know that I'm at the end of the list when I reach a next pointer that's null. And so I'm going to use that as the termination condition for my loop. Well, the first thing I need to do, I'm not going to use node pointer. I'm going to reset temp pointer so it points to the head of the list again. And I can do that by assigning temp pointer being equal to node pointer. And that is going to draw our make tent pointer point to the first element. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to successively set tent pointer to the next pointer to the next pointer, and eventually tent pointer will point to null. That's my termination condition. So as long as tent pointer points to something, as long as it's not equal to null, then I want to keep looping. I'm, now, here, here's my output. Notice I don't have any output. So the first thing I need to do is I need to make sure uh, that I output 5. I can't move temp pointer because then I would be pointing at 10. I will have uh, not printed 5. So here the first thing I'm going to do is say C out uh, temp pointer get object. And tent pointer points to this object, so get object returns 5. That's our output. And now that I've printed 5, I need to print 10. And in order to do that, I need to move. I need to advance tent pointer to the next node. We know how to do that. I just say tent pointer is equal to temp pointer get next pointer. Now that is going to make tent pointer point to the node containing 10, just like that. And that's the end of my while loop, because I'm actually in exactly the same situation I was in when I was pointing to 5. So I go back to the top of the while loop, and I check to see if temp pointer is pointing to something. It does. So I enter the while loop and I print the object 10 and now I advance temp pointer to the next node. So temp pointer is now going to point to 15. Get rid of my scribbles here. I go back to the top of the while loop. Does temp pointer point to something? Yes it does. So I enter the while loop and I call get object on that node. It returns 15 and that's printed to the console. And now this is important. Now when I call temp pointer uh, get next pointer, it returns null. And that's what um, temp pointer will point to then. So to draw this, When I call get next pointer, it returns null, and so now temp pointer points to null. And I go back up, I do my uh, evaluation of the Boolean or the while loop, and this satisfies the termination condition of my while loop, and then I drop out of the while loop and continue executing main. So this is a general code pattern for traversing leaked lists. And, and you know, this, this is a very important piece of code. We are going to use this code if we want to print the elements of a linked list, if we want to find an element of the linked list, if we want to change all of the elements of the linked list, if we want to compute the average 
of the elements of the linked list, all of these operations involve a traversal. And the traversal simply starts at the beginning with some pointer that's set to the head of the list. You iterate until that pointer becomes null, signifying that you have processed all the elements of the list. And here is where the business happens, okay? Whether we're printing, whether we're finding something, whether we're doing some calculation, that's going to happen right here before we advance the pointer to the next node in the chain. So this is a very important piece of code. So now what we're going to do, we're finished for the purposes of this exercise with this linked list, and what I need to do is destruct it. So remember, this is one of the things that we didn't do in the previous lecture. So let me set that up now with the next 